Guilty Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. In the last episode, we got here to Norfair, and in this episode... Oh, this is Fake Lala. Okay. I was, like, getting myself all prepared to, like, go in to do some things, and it just turned out to be Fake Lava. I was like, okay, alright, be prepared. For however this is gonna go, yada yada yada. Since I'm also about to get a power up, presumably, I am not super. You know what? It's gonna be super missiles, or not? <laughs> Wave beam, huh? Made up of energy waves can pass through solid objects. Well, I mean, cool. I like the wave beam. And it's interesting that it's after the ice beam in this game, because I'm used to the prime orderation. Like, I'm not gonna use that one. I don't know. Haha! -ha! I do like this kind of situation though. Where it like immediately is like, here's how this thing can be used to good effect. That is a funny bit of design. Alright, so this lava was fake, but the other lava before was not. However, I have full health now, so if I was gonna try and explore that lava, Now's a pretty good time to do so, and I have, I have a feeling that the way beam will be needed in this upcoming section on the right. And I'm just too clever, so I found the thing that was signposted to me. So let's see what happens if I dunk myself in lava. Oh. Oh, it's a, it's a white wave ice beam. I didn't even realize that until right now. Well, this is not the lava I was intended to dunk myself in. I really shouldn't dunk myself into lava, but... Look, it looks so tasty and juicy and red. Okay. Thank you, map. I was like, wait a second, what did I miss here? I do like the way the map works. That, the map is very nice in that regard. I appreciate it a lot, because it's like, it doesn't like exactly tell me things. Like I said earlier that I'm not going to go for 100%, and I think that is mostly true, but like, I am going to try and like do what I can find, you know? Alright. Let's try and speed booster. It's not enough speed. Hmm. And that stays a pit. How do I get speed for this then? It's not like I can get it from this room. Maybe there is some sort of power-up that, like... Oh! There's stuff even far further below. Okay, so that's probably, like, a thing where I'm just, like... Yeah. 
Where, like, something even further below is, like, zooming me up all the way up through that, you know? Why am I so bad at playing as you, Samus? All right. I have a distinct feeling that the lava is not going to go away. Is the thing. Like, maybe, maybe I'm totally fine, but I, I don't think I can trust the idea that I'll be fine. So I'll leave that door for now. Alright. I have fully healed myself after that endeavor. Now let's go... See what we got in here. Okay. Oh! I'm just back in this room again. Okay, now I'm confused. How do I... I can't leave. That much is obvious. Maybe I need to turn off the ice beam? Can I even do that? Doesn't look like I turned it off. Do I need to just wait? Hi. How you doing? to push it back and plant a bomb where like it's gonna be Is 
Yes. Okay. Bomb explodes so fast. Okay, I don't love this, but oh well. There we go. The world's slowest uh, figuring out how to do things. But I got an energy tank for it, and I filled up all the energy tank things over there. Which is strange to me. Okay. And I've done that. Now here's what I want to try and figure out. See if I can use the speed boost as a thing. I need to duck. Because there was all that other stuff with the speed boost stuff. I don't know. Actually, think about it. Isn't there a wall in the save room anyway? I don't think it's going to actually get me anything. I think I'm just overcomplicating it. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm overthinking it all. I'm just trying to be cool and I'm like coming up with stuff that doesn't really make any sense. Let's just move forward. Just barely enough. Gotcha. Haha. -ha. Alright, cool beans. I'm making good progress. Trying to figure out why why in the world would there be just like why is there this?
Well, this is a really weird creature. Gonna try and do a speed boost thing in that room, and then try and speed boost up. But actually, there isn't even room on th on the map, so I don't know what that would even accomplish. I don't know, I'm I think I'm just thinking way too hard about the speed boost and what it could potentially do. But I mean, what is that? What is that room supposed to even like in indicate? You know? I don't know. Purple ship of doom. like a giant face. Meow. Here he comes. It's time to enter Ridley. My dream. Well, this place looks pretty small. Is this just a recharge room? Huh. Well, alright, I'll take it, I guess. It's funny how that that's a jingle that's, like, supposed to be, like, Almost reassuring in a weird sense, because like it's the save room jingle. In some fashions and stuff. But like it's always just like because of its use in the melee theme for Brinstar Depths. Okay, I am very clearly missing something now. This is where I'm supposed to be. I can't seem to do anything with this guy. to hit the block directly with the explosion. I can hold the missile button as much as I want to in more fall bomb form. It doesn't do anything. So I get back out that way. I can't do anything else. What? Ridley, you're confusing me. Okay, so maybe there's something in this room that I thought was just a recharge station. Or maybe there's something in this room. That got me nothing. If I can break this stuff, am I supposed to speed boost? 
Because this is a straight pass. There's no one in the ceiling that I would need the speed boost. If I had the speed boost, it would be right here. There's nothing. There's just gotta be, like, a pathway that I'm missing or something. get in here and there's nothing for me to do <sighs> I don't have gravity suit or space jump or anything like that so I can't do anything in criteria That's just a power-up over there. There's nothing else, like, super uber-specific for me to get to. There is a power-up still in Kraid. But I don't think I could get to it, and even then, that's just one power-up. So the only other option would be if there's something I'm missing there. And I feel like the answer to that is if I go over there by those Chozo statues. If I get super missiles. Because that would make sense to me. Because then I could just go through here. I'll meet you guys at those gray rooms. Interesting. Really wasn't expecting that. Like, the secret entrance, but, like, I like that. It's so much easier to hit it when you come from the... This side. Those are super missiles. What button do I do? I, I read it and I was like, what? Arm with select RB. Ah, okay. So you just switch 
switch them around. Gotcha. Okay. I, I like that. It was very confusing, but like, I like it. I was just like, okay, what do I do? Well, I guess the only thing I can do is leave. And so let's go try something else. And then, like, the immediate like, way you leave, it just uh, has a new area to go to. And like, that's, I like that. It's very confusing, but like, in a very good way, I like that. It's funny and fun. And like it, it, it tell it. I love it when a game was like willing to tell a story like that. In like through its level design. Okay, that's not me jumping into lava. I don't trust this. I feel like the floor is about to come out from under me. Under me. I might have seen it in a video at some point. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I came across it as like, I've seen this before, haven't I? It didn't help me, but I did. <laughs> at least I could say I wasn't fooled. I could at least say I'm just bad at the game. Uh. I think we're getting the screw attack when we come out of here anyway, so it's like, it's fine. Either that or this pathway take me back up there. I don't like these orb men. They're annoying me. Yeah, yeah. Keep your screaming. Oh, gosh! Oh, goodness. There we go. Alright. Oh, that's why I thought I had all the things. Because, like, my TV cuts off right perfectly above, like... Ah! It cuts off, like, perfectly above the thing there, so I don't... I can hardly see the top... Uh, the top square there. Alright. I'm gonna try and, like, get some... Item drops, cause... I could just use them. This is gonna be a map. No, it's gonna be a save. Okay. Works for me. Giving, they're giving you lots of, like, stuff for free now here. Okay, they're definitely... We're getting, we're getting a screw attack. We can't get back out of here. Map me up. Oh my, this is a larger place than I thought it would be. We might not be fighting Ridley. Who knows? Uh, oh wow, I've been going for about 30 minutes already. I think I'm just gonna rush to this save point and then end the episode there. We have Ridley's map. It's a guide to his heart. Watch out, Ridley. I'm coming for you. I will make you mine. Not Samus's, mine. It's 
specifically. This isn't me playing a game character anymore. I will make Ridley mine. I don't care if you think I have questionable taste. I like what I like. I'm not afraid to deny it. Do super missile drops give you regular missiles if you have full super missiles? I haven't been paying attention, but that's how I would design it personally. Just my vibe. Okay, there was pretty much nothing <laughs> in that room. Um, yeah, uh, 35 minutes. Cut out five minutes of a little bit of backtracking, and that's about 30 minutes, and that's about how I, how long I want to think for. So next time on Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission, uh, we'll go fight Ridley. Yeah. Bye bye.